Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Germany, Rule the Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 9, part 3 of our fleet battle, but presumably the, the very end of it here. So the very few things that we have going on that we have left to resolve really are this Anson, which does have two submerged torpedo tubes, we have to be a bit careful about that. We have another Anson here, and we have a few remaining ships, which I'm guessing are just all down for the count. They've done something really nice, when you right click the ship it no longer shows the ship's status. So you have to look at the ship's status down here, and this doesn't, we no longer have access to the three knots indication that the ship is absolutely already sunk, which is quite nice actually, so it doesn't reveal to us information we shouldn't have access to. Um, so this Anson has already taken a torpedo. The Balmung, which I looked back in the video, is the the ship which is currently completely out of ammunition. So she only has secondaries. Now the wild card here is this other Anson, which I'm not sure what she's going to do. If she joins the fight, in fact the entire British Navy could do an about face and try to take us on. It may even be worth it for us just to leave. Although these ships are in such bad shape down here, I would be very reluctant to leave until we have put them solidly slamming the door shut on Davy's lo Davy Jones' locker. Uh, just a brief shout out once again. Brief mention, I should say, to all those people making role-playing things. There's actually so not so many of them. It's actually <laughs> look. I pride myself on trying to respond to all the comments that I, I get on a on a video, but it's actually been um, a challenge lately. <laughs> There's so much to read. So if I'm a little bit delayed getting back or replying to uh, something, just <clears throat> bear with me. Um, there's a lot to respond to. So, what does this mean? <clears throat> I think what we're going to do is send these dreadnoughts south, due south, which should hopefully pre prevent prevent this Anson from being a participant in the in the battle from here on. I know this Camperdown has been hit several times and probably it will be reluctant to join the fight. So all we want to do is screen this Anson from joining. We need to be a little bit careful about the rest of the British battleships. No idea what they're going to be doing. Our light cruisers are going to go after this northern Anson because we already have one group of light cruisers somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. No? No, never mind. This is the light cruisers going after this Anson. So this group is actually just a screening force. We'll send them down to 16 because we don't know where they're needed yet. <clears throat> and then the Württemberg, uh, a solitary Hohenzollern. She's going to help with this uh, tracking down the Anson. So as soon as we get around these uh, dead in the water ships, we'll attempt to track down this Anson and see what's going on with her. And she's what, 20, uh, no, she's only 18,000 tons. So we may, yeah, we may not need, okay, I don't think this Württemberg is going to be needed here. So let's see where the, what shells were landing. Six inch shell, that's actually good. 12 inch shell on this one, which is fantastic. And six inch on that. Okay, we don't have. As far as I remember, we don't have port side torpedoes. Twenty three minutes remaining. We have one starboard side. So if we wanted to, we could go aggressive with our starboard. Um, this would probably require a complete about face. Yeah. Um, these are heavy damage on fire. I think that they're just both sinking. This one's heavy damage on medium damage on fire, but it's heavy damage on fire. They're all heavy damage on fire. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. So let's just get this episode over with very quick. Oh my gosh, Anson has blown up. Which one? Which one? It is! Okay, this is like a huge crutch to us. It's probably going to be sinking anyway, but the flash fires are paying big dividends. Now, note that the British have, um, the British modifier allows their ships to be more susceptible to flash fires due to the kind of um, poor maintenance techniques or poor operating, standard operating procedures for their reloading their guns. Basically, to speed up their rate of fire, they would uh, store um, very volatile stuff in unprotected spaces <clears throat> that could easily ignite with the, uh, could be triggered to ignite. Now, this is something that they will improve upon as the game goes on, as in, um, the more flash fires they have, the more chance that they remove this additional modifier. This Anson is cruising on, I was going to say, just cruising on over, so I think cruising for a bruising, right? We'll probably deploy all of our forces as a screening force against her. The light cruisers obviously are now needed down here. 
Everyone in the north is going to go down to just cruise speed so that we once again preserve our limited top end. And the Heligoland, yeah, she has 16 knots available, so we'll get her to join the party down here. We do have some British ships on the southeast side. Those are the, I'm guessing those are the armored cruisers. So in fact, my line of battleships, which maybe doesn't have much better to do, is going to go chase those guys out. <clears throat> Basically start to prepare, oh wow, so we're doing really good damage now. Prepare an escape route for our fleet. Even though, honestly, I think that we have the better part of it. I mean, I think we probably could, you know, successfully sink out. Oh, look, the Collingwood is down for sure. And this Camperdown should not be long before she joins her. So. Okay, so Drake getting hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. This Drake's still up as well. We just want to polish all these ones off before we, you know, completely abandon the scene. <clears throat> now, is this Anson going to attack? Okay, so we will fight her. Let's get these guys back up to squad max, because they may be needed again. Um, I think that this ship is just going to go down. We do have the starboard side, so the Balmung will go ahead and make another return pass on her. Yeah, no, I don't know what this Anson is doing. She... Not take any hits this turn, but yeah. So the Württemberg, you're needed over to the west to stave off this Anson. You guys are going to be moving this way. Oh, it's the Ariadne? No, that's one that's going down. Oh, interesting. So we're not in big danger then. I miss. I misinterpreted. Now I think that. So this one's surely going down. Or if she isn't yet, she will. We will make sure of it. Yeah, get in the six inch shell. Okay, she's still moving, maybe a little bit, but she's not long for this world. We're, I'm more than happy to use up a torpedo on her. Sankt Kaiser takes a hit. They're still, you know, they're still engaging us, <laughs> as you'd expect. Okay, let's launch our last torpedo at this. Maybe we can. Ships in line of fire is actually what I was guessing what I would see. And it is what I see indeed. Okay, so we'll just move um, to the other side of her and then engage. Balmung only has her secondary, so. Oh god. Let's stop torpedo firing just so we don't hit our own ships. And basically, anybody who's going slow can just start. We'll start angling off to the west. And since everyone is should be more or less um you have your group together you do okay since everyone else is more or less finishing up the, the journey down i think we'll get this group to move together again into a line yeah good very good anson camper down has taken a lot of hits uh, torpedoes moments away from impact that should settle the final score <clears throat> you know, part of me thinks that it might be a good thing to even start chasing down the rest of these ships. It has obviously been, it's been a hugely successful engagement so far. And what's to stop us from pushing our luck a little bit more? If we move together, I think we'll be okay. And again, also making sure that we move only at uh, 16 knots at cruise speed so that we don't, um, like you guys in particular, it's one example, so we don't uh, end up using up the very valuable speed. Because that's what we'll need to escape, <laughs> um, or we, what we may need to escape. I'm going to send the Schlesian and the Schleswig Holstein over to take care of the Ariadne. I think she's already going down, but there'll be the, the forward eyes over there. Looks like that destroyer did sink in the end. So the ones that we have not gotten to are the battle cruisers. I don't mind leaving them around because, frankly, they're such a weak battle cruiser that any battle cruiser which comes after this will be more than a match for them. So in, in that sense, I don't mind if, you know, we end up not sinking all of them. Wow. Okay, so the camper now. Okay, the Anson is the main one I'm interested in, not that one. She already has, okay, that's the Balmung's last torpedo. That's perfect. 
So while I'm going to go down to 16 knots now, you guys might actually still want to deploy, go at high speed. Uh, okay, so just have everyone tracking over in this direction. Let's, uh, I'm going to get these guys to form up as a line now that basically it's not important. They're, it's completely okay. There's no reason for them to not take the time to do that. Since we're going to send somebody else down that way, we'll send... Uh, Celestian is going to go that way, so we'll send these two southwest. And good. Anson took her second torpedo. We have no, no fear now about whether or not she's going to survive. She certainly is not. Okay, good. And I kind of like the idea of running these battleships down through the lines just to one final, <laughs> one final, you know, barrage of fire against everybody in the, in the area. Okay, so moving on, let's see, are we hitting, we are 12 inch guns too. This is dangerous obviously, but I think that with the accuracy we've shown so far, not only that, oh gosh, yeah, this is wonderful. Those, the ammunition we're using, we just, I mean, there's no need to take it home with us, so. So put you down to cruise, you guys down to cruise, yeah. We'll pursue at least this last, um, what are these guys up to? Yeah, we are closing with this Anson. I want to distance ourselves a little bit just for torpedoes. She's at, yep, 2.12, so very easily could get ourselves tangled up with some torpedoes, which would not be good after we've done so well. Oh god, every time these pop-ups come, it could be the one. <laughs> And Anson, the Collingwood, these guys are all sinking. Drake is sinking. This Anson, oh, it's the sinking one. Okay, they're all sinking. Good. Well, we're just making sure. We're making darn sure. Okay, wrong Anson. Wrong Anson. Okay, good. Two four, uh, 12 inch shells. Two 12 inch shells. So she has one turret disabled. That's actually quite nice. It's the rear turret, the one that probably threatens us the most. Let's move our light cruisers in on a, uh, you know, intercept course. I'm surprised that some of these guys even have 50% of their ammunition available. Um, I probably have some people not launching torpedoes. You guys, you can launch torpedoes again because there's nobody there. Might get the Lohengrin to launch a torpedo at this Anson. Just for good measure. Which may not hit. Oh, right, there it is. <laughs> They're very slow moving torpedoes. <laughs> All right, so Anson, not the one I wanted to take hits, but everyone else is surely going down. Okay, so nothing to write home about in this one. We do need some support over here because this Anson it's getting a little, it looks like it might get some support from the camper down, but we also should be able to put down this camper. I mean, this is amazing. This, okay, um, not the one we wanted, right? Just another, yeah. And even another torpedo, missed her. That's fine. Let's go now. Cruise, we're at, we are at cruise. Camper down. Nope, that's a Heligolon. She'll take her out, I'm sure. Okay, continue on. So this is the main event now. And she's turning into us, which is nice. Because... Kind of going after this other camper down as well, who just happened to stupidly stick around for too long. There's the armored cruisers, so as soon as the Ariadne is taken out, and it looks like we're already engaging her, we'll bend our way south to keep clearing that area as an avenue of retreat. It seems really interesting to be swimming through a wreckage of British swips, uh, ships. Swimming, not swimming, but sailing, or I mean... Yeah, I guess sailing. It's not sails, but <laughs> maneuvering our vessels through this, like, gauntlet of destroyed British vessels. Okay, the whole Hensel learns out of ammunition. <laughs> Completely out of ammunition. And we're still hitting the wrong Anson, unfortunately. Okay, wait. 12-inch shell. Good. Camera down, 
Yeah, not okay. So no, nothing else interesting. Okay, this is the one. This is the one where we want this to happen. Falling wood, hammer down. I'm kind of okay with the extra shells, just because I've had so many in the. I mean, look at the Japanese campaign I have, where we sent we hit a vessel with four torpedoes and it didn't sink. <laughs> four torpedoes and like six heavy shells, which were 16 inch shells. I mean, those aren't just hits. Those are penetrating hits <laughs> that did not go down damn thing plus like 30 medium hits and 60 light hits thing was very resilient we're almost out of ammunition though yeah no hits on anything which matters still waiting for the correct Anson to be hit. Okay, good. We're still landing every now and then. We're landing these medium shells, which are good. She's already going down. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing? <laughs> Avoid a near collision there. Yeah, I think we can actually push this and gain a little bit of extra value out of it. There's the inflexibles. That's not what I want to see. And they are engaging the Württemberg. Although the Anson's slowing down here, I think notably slowing down 10 knots. Yeah, I think we're going to see our, our opportunity here. Now, the camera down, the, down here is actually still putting up some resistance. Well, Henselorn can't even return fire. She has no ammunition. <laughs> I mean, there's other ships en route to help out with the situation. We have pretty much the whole, the remainder of the Navy, except for these two who are going to go after the uh, armored cruisers. Okay, good. This is what I wanted to see. Two. Oh, she's on fire, too. Oh, this is great. So her accuracy is really plummeting. <laughs> Man. They're all out of ammunition. <laughs> we fired every last shell. Well, that's a good reason for us to be turning around after this. So we, we really won't have the opportunity to... Wait, is this the Kaiser? Is that the other one that was out of ammo? I guess she's completely out of ammunition, yep. So this group is just a sailing tank. I think what we'll do is kind of abandon this direction. We'll pull off. No reason to risk getting hit. Like, oh, we actually are still hitting with our six inch guns, which probably can't penetrate I don't think so at least um yeah <clears throat> let's just pursue this uh Anson to the end and if the camper down gets out she gets out I don't see any reason to force the issue further than that you can look at this this is just brutal kind of reminds me of, this kind of reminds me of the like the pursuit of the Bismarck at the end just brutal. But she had no chance. I'm even nervous about launching torpedoes. I'm not sure if... Ah, oh, the Morganson's firing one. <laughs> How do you... You have double turrets. They're only firing one 11-inch gun. The inflexibles are a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay. How do we want to deal with this? I think we can try to go after those camber downs. That, that camber down. This group is out of ammunition. <clears throat> what is this Anson up to? So the Anson definitely has control of her motion. She's obviously not in a good way. I think one torpedo, which the Balmung can provide. Perfect. Squad max. Still landing some hits. Okay, they're up to 19. I was going to say we probably should get someone to speed after this camber down. Balmung's Almost close enough. One more turn, probably. Launch. Good. We'll see if she has the ability to avoid that. If she does, I mean, it's still fine. We'll have another opportunity to hit her later. And these guys go up to squad max. We'll chase down this camera down, if at all possible. Yeah, that's going to be a miss. We're actually hitting this camber down with our six inch shells, and that's, I mean, at this point in the game, 
she probably doesn't have very many main shells left herself. Those, I mean, especially this early in the, especially this early in the time period. Very distinct possibility that those will do enough damage to to make a difference. Doing our best here, Balmung. That's a good one. There it is. Okay, good. That's the coup de gras. Keep all our ships together, except for the... <laughs> Look at these guys. They're just like... Oh, those are the ones that are sinking. <laughs> Slushy and Holt. These two are just so funny. They're actually doing some work. We started landing 12 in shells. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to do give a weird order. I'm going to ask them to stop firing for 10 minutes, just while we get into position. And then we'll prepare... Again, they're preparing our retreat out of here. Yeah, we're... Okay, the Anson's now the one getting hit, slaughtered. The Inflexibles are right there, though. Ugh, it's nerve-wracking. No hits on the camera down yet. Okay, the, this Anson's definitely going down. I feel like we, you know, we just keep getting... We have more value. And the more value we get, the more chips that are still remaining, the more reason we have to keep going after them. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a strange situation. We want to keep. We don't want to keep pursuing, but then we do. <laughs> okay, let's start firing torpedoes just to get them to change course. Hmm, they already are. Is their squad max really that good? It's kind of impressive. Okay, um, who do we have? Light cruiser group. Oh, what are you guys doing? No, no, no. Head this way, I guess, towards the slushing and all that. Oh man, V47 is sinking. Oh, that's right. She had like three, or it looks like only one flooding. Since there's only 488. Well, she must have had higher flooding at some point, so she, uh. Yeah. She met her end by slow bleeding. Good. Now we're starting to land really good land. Like, those are really good barrages. Let's see if we're close enough yet to fire torpedoes. Yes. I don't really care if these hit. I'm just going to cause evasive maneuvers, which is going to allow us to catch up even more. You know, these probably don't have a great chance of hitting just one at a time, but keep launching, keep launching. Eventually, you know, just by statistics, eventually one of these might hit. Or we get lucky right away. Nope. First one, second one, third one. <laughs> Fourth one's going in. One looks a little bit better. Yes, there it is. Okay. All right, the route has has completed. Let's uh, go link up in the south and pull out. Several more torpedoes going her way, but she's already dead in the water. No need to pursue. Move away from the inflexibles. Again, I'm not worried about the inflexibles because at a later date, they will be so obsolete, it won't matter. Okay, let's run it at speed. In fact, we'll go up to fast now as well. So one thing I want to pay attention to is who has flooding issues. These destroyers? All right. Yeah, if we can take out an armored cruiser, that's even better. Wow, good, good turns. Putting a lot of damage on this. I mean, it's another 11,000 ton ship. It's huge, you know? Is this a destroyer? Not going to be much match for... Okay, God, they're, they're all out of ammo. <laughs> hey, Beer Hall, let's step it up. Get you guys clear. So if we huddle together, this is the whole point. The disengage is very tricky, but I'm hoping that huddling together, we have a chance here. Oh, God. Celestine's out of main ammo. Almost everyone's out of main ammo. Okay, nighttime is coming. Not exactly ideal, considering it looks like one last Anson is maybe curious about getting some damage. 
So we really need to start bundling up. We're going to let that one go just to start preparing our way. Uh, we actually need to go a little bit further this way, though, because stupid division misunderstood. I'd like to imagine that she's off pursuing, yeah, that group, but... Okay. All right, they're back, they're back, they're back. Good, I was getting a little worried. Okay, fast. This will soon be out of our sight anyway, because... The visibility is going to drop even more. Now, I'm very worried about losing some of these ships, which have taken a bit of damage. So in a little bit, who needs to clean grates? Oh, yeah, everyone should slow down to cruise first and foremost. Probably should do it this way, even. I've never done this, but it's actually more important now. 20 crews. Crews. Crews, okay, good. That's for starters, and then after this, after we run for a little bit, I'm just gonna be looking and see if maybe that anybody's flooding. No reports. I think we're off the hook here. Just in case anybody's gonna have issues, I think we're well out of the way of the battle line. I'm gonna slow everyone down to 10. Be really nice to have a set all to speed button. And we're gonna limp back to port. I think this is a, a heroic victory, Un unbelievably so. I don't, it just all kind of snowballed. I really don't know how it happened. <laughs> I'm trying to think like how it, in the beginning it did not look that good. But in the end, it, I think it is a huge victory. Whew. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring it to a close. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. 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 This is like one of the most impressive victories. I mean, this end result screen is... It's something else. Wow. It, okay, I just want to start looking at other stuff. My mind is actually rattled. <laughs> wow. I just, I don't even know what I'm looking for here. There's nothing I'm looking for. Uh, three torpedoes on this one, three torpedoes on this Ben Bao. We didn't sink any of the British light cruisers even. Light damage on this one. Yeah, they have two center line, one five inch gun, two, four two inch guns, it's weird. Very strange design. I never looked at this, but that is very strange. These are the ones with AA guns, I suppose. I don't know if it says it, but... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Very interesting. Well, I hope that you saw whatever you wanted to see from this screen, the results. Cheese. Um, okay, well, that's a huge victory. <laughs> Battle of Jetland. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the Battle of Jutland for you. Pretty, uh, pretty staggering victory. I don't even know where things go from here. The first thing to do, I guess, is to take a look at the. What's that? Look at the naval budget difference. Such a, such a difference. 
They don't have any dreadnoughts left. We sank every single dreadnought. They have their three battle cruisers, one more in construction as well. And I think they lost, was it three and seven? So we were parity, we were at parity with uh, battleships before the battle. And now we have a two to one advantage. So the big news, the biggest news I suppose is that we really have to take advantage of the lopsided strategic numbers now. First of all, we want to retake. Oh, we can't even retake it. Oh, those jerks. Okay, well anyways, two and 50 is way worse. Oh man, than two and 170. So we will, that we do vow, that's, oh, I didn't even realize how the invasion system is frustrating to deal with because there's no way that you just, if they can invade, it's not like we can't. <laughs> It's kind of a, it's a very gamey thing. I, I, I would have done it slightly differently. I understand how it is. I mean, it's, it's a good, interesting game mechanic, but it's not very historical. And at least a little frustrating situations like this where we can take this back. Um, thankfully, it's only value of two. We can take it back very easily um, at the end of the war. I assume that this kind of victory point situation will allow us to have enough victory points. But okay, so one thing I'm going to do off camera is fix these naval groups. Um, I checked in May is when this kicked in, I believe. So I'm just going to be 3.5 times 6, and then uh, 3 times whatever, however many months are after that. I'll just add the money back for us. So we do want to design a battle cruiser. I know that it's pretty much long overdue. Uh, actually, no, we don't even need to look. We can just open the Von Nice now. And I know that we have four centerline turrets, which it's just crazy to think that instead of doing four centerline turrets with with centerline normally you don't get four centerline until you know one of the at least one of the super firing things has fired um we have high research against the or high intel against the u.s i'd love if we could steal something um so how do we want to react to this what's our what's the advantage okay it's eight to zero so we should have a, an event firing there and i want to start scattering some of our other European holdings, but we'll we should wait one month to see what the if we're blockading them or not. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah! Tortuga loses his mind. I am so angry. Ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So this war is actually, in the end, a defeat. You can't see it right now, but I'm actually slumping in my chair. My heart is broken. I, nobody can rectify this situation. odds that that happens this war had been going on for what like three months they had enough time to take a colony and then just immediately peace out i feel like are the gods working against me what's going on how is this possible oh man oh man my, my poor heart oh my heart <laughs> all right we're switching over to torpedo warfare so I think by the time that the next battle happens, torpedoes will be better. Okay, all right. We have no monthly balance. The monthly balance will take care of itself as soon as we end up deleting the war. But this, I did it already. I did it. It takes a long time. You have to sit here and one, two, three, one, two, three. Whoops. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and do that because there's a lot of them I have to go through. So we'll go back and, you know, again, I'll just add a little bit of money. I think I, I calculated it. It was at 21 million last I checked. So we'll probably be adding like 2, 2.5 per month beyond November. It's just easier than doing it here. It's fine. Okay, so damn it. At least game, or at least reward me with... Uh, 
I think we will put on float plane search priority. At least reward me with uh, technology. No? You won't even give me that? Yeah, I, I just... Uh. Okay, that huge improvement. That's a huge improvement. We'll wait six months and we'll build it. You dare come back at us, British? <sighs> wow. Okay, I no longer care. Oh, no, I do. I do. We can just wait one more month. One more click. I know. I know. Why are we so behind in research? Yeah, we're... It's very strange. All right, let's start thinking about this, these priorities here. First of all, fire control, this should be on high. Um, this, it would be nice to get triple turrets, so we'll leave that on high. Okay, fine, fine. We just have to compromise. I don't like the fact that we're going to have to design, ultimately, a battle cruiser without super firing turrets, but... Tur super firing turret super, it's around this time 1908 i want to say is the technology us can get it at like 1904 okay compromise august last month compromise september is the last month ah man okay well the, everyone's using these 14 inch guns they must be good Oh man, okay, fine, fine, fine. We know it's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. We'll load the nice now. And we'll, we'll you know, it takes a little bit of time for the uh, technology to, I mean, for the design itself to be processed. So we have a, a small curtain, a small window of time where if something does improve, uh, we can make changes. Anyway, 105, let's get this up to 110. I prefer that. Do we have better six inch guns? I mean, it's funny that we have quality one 14 inch guns and quality zero six inch guns. Think we're okay. Can we put these in turrets? Is this possible? Secondary guns above three inches must be in casemates. Damn it! But it makes sense actually because they're occupying the <laughs> the spot for the turrets. So yeah, we don't really care about having that many then because they're not going to be as effective. So this is going to be a long range slugger. In which case, we'd like to get 2.5 inches of deck on it. How long is long range at this point? almost 20,000 so at 20,000 yeah 2.5 deck would be nice <laughs> this is the only place that's actually immune to its own shells at 17,000 exactly <laughs> it's funny but I don't suspect that anybody else is gonna be using quality 1 14 inch shells for a while so yeah we should probably just build this and, and be happy with it of course torpedo defense would be nice um, How would I get this to work? 29,000? Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's just leave it here. Uh, okay, Conning Tower take down. Okay. So central firing, unfortunately, which means we want conning tower of nine just to prevent, uh, just leave space for director firing. And I think that this is what we're going to go ahead and go with. It's not pretty. We're at 105 million. Wasn't this thing 84 million before? How the hell did it get so damn expensive? Am I crazy? This was at 84 million before, right? I'm going to go back and check, but... All we did was add half an inch of deck. Same, I mean, the, the caliber of gun is the same. I don't know, Crustic Fire, how expensive are you? No, it's not the, that. Okay, well, I don't know. We'll just have to save and we gotta do it, right? So give me this design, overwrite, take my money and tell me how much, 
how many of those we can make. We, we need something, obviously, so let me know what you've determined. England. I hate England. England will pay for this transgression. We really do want to we really do want to attempt to make fun of England as much as possible while they're in this lull. Yes, we want to go to war with England before they get any more any more powerful. I and mean, it better be a, that is just, uh, yeah. I hate England. I will hate them forever now. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> Pardon my language, but jeez, I can't believe they just, it's like a ninja move. They took our colony, they lost a huge battle, and then they settled for, for, how is this even possible? We took your territory, we lost the war, and our peace settlement is, we got to keep the territory that we took, and you don't get anything, even though we lost. It doesn't make sense. Okay, let's negotiate a peace agreement with... Wait a second. England would be greatly disturbed by this. It won't allow us to use our 14 inch guns though. We could do this or we could negotiate an agreement with the US. I feel like that's not a bad choice. Okay, this is very weird. We could negotiate a peace with France which will allow us to this is like an entente. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, but everything must, everything in the name of defeating England now. This is the rallying cry. I don't care, Kaiser. We have a plan. Okay, rework the design. Yeah, actually, whatever technology has changed has given us more. 9.5. This will be like a one month refit and then maybe take it down. So at 105, still very expensive, 3.2 million for 32 months. I don't like the speed. If, if everyone's curious, I don't like the speed myself, but yeah, I think this is what we're gonna go with. 30, not, uh, 30 space is perfect to have enough for director firing. Okay, one more month. Go to the build screen. Build me two. So I assume that with the extra money, which you know has been like a whole year of progress at this point, <laughs> we're gonna have enough money left over. We probably could build a third one. Let me build a third one, and that'll probably be the all the numbers that we ever build of the of the nice nows. So the Rickenbacker, the Witfunmacher, industrial technology is sword or whatever. I'm really gonna lose count of this if I'm not careful. 2.2 for this many times. Okay, I'll do the math. It's really easy. And I guess we should wrap this episode up. So secondary turrets on dreadnoughts. Okay, good. We will get a. We need a new dreadnought now. The 14 inch. Excuse me. The quality 14 inch guns are just. Quality 1 14 inch guns, I should say, are so valuable to us that I, I, it's just insane for us not to be designing. I don't like this because of the lack of super firing. We're definitely going to wait for super firing. This is essentially the Dreadnought configuration, by the way. Um, they even have this gun on the lower end. And I don't think, I think this one was also on the raised end, if I'm not mistaken. So, but. Maybe it wasn't. I think it wasn't on the low side, was it? Can't remember, but these were definitely on the low. Anyway, so we'll think about designing one of these eventually. I would like triple turrets. Lots of things I'd like. It's only 1910. Calm down, Tortuga. All, everything will be sent against England. We will probably just ratchet up submarines. We'll probably do everything in our power to cut them to pieces. So that's the new rallying cry of this series is, is we really want to go after England. Until the next episode, thanks for putting up with this terrible peace agreement. Thanks for watching, and take care.